Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the Howard for Revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR. Hallelujah. Father, hide me behind the cross. Let it be none of me, but all of you, Father, speak through these lips of clay. In Jesus' name, Father, let everybody leave here singing. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, y'all know the issue of my throat. I can't shout, but if you hear a word from God that gets you excited, shout for me, please. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Somebody be my shout button today. Thank you, Jesus. Turn with me to Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3, and I'm going to entitle this message today, You Have an Appointment. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Everybody listening has an appointment with your blessing today. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. By the end of this message, somebody's going to get blessed. I guarantee you, somebody's going to leave here saying, I got what I wanted from the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God that my sins are under the blood today and that he's made me holy and that he's made me able to bring this message. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn with me to Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Write the vision, then the Lord, verse 2 of chapter 2 of Habakkuk, then the Lord answered me and said, write the vision down and make it plain among tables, for he that readeth it, that he may run that reads it, who reads it. Thank you, Holy Ghost. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Time, write that down, mark it down, time, put a mark to it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. People say The Bible says, without a vision, the people perish. And also, he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. If you don't know that your time has come, you're going to miss the time given to you. Bless the Holy Ghost. Write that down, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to know what season you're in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I feel the anointing. Bless you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. But the time, but at the end it will speak and not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Meaning God is upholding his word to you. Though it looks like you missed the miracle, though it looks like you ain't got no more time left and time is up, that time has run out for you, as long as there's breath in your body, there is strength for God to bless you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You ain't run out of your time to be blessed as long as there's breath in your body. You know, the Bible said that God speaks in his word. He said, I'll give you back the years of the canker worm and the pommel worm and the locusts are taken from you. And I'm not trying to preach today. I, I just can't help it that the, the Lord spoke this to me to preach this message today and then the message tomorrow from dust to destiny. But you have an appointment, friends, and God wants you to know you've not missed the hour of your blessing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Everyone has an appointed date with destiny, a set time. Exodus 9, 4 through 5, the Bible says, and at that set time, God... God allowed death to come for Pharaoh's animals and all of Pharaoh's things. But the Bible said the things that belonged to the children of God, he preserved that time. Everything else around you might be dying off. It looks like everything else around you is going to pot. It looks like nothing's going to work for you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But God has set a time that your blessing would outlive your burden. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody needed to hear that, that your blessing's going to outlive your burden. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. That's Exodus 9, 4 through 5. The Bible said that at the set time. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Go there with me now. Exodus 9, 4 through 5. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Your blessing's going to outlive your burden, friend. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I, I feel that. that. That was for myself as well, but for somebody else out there watching me, somebody needed to hear that. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And the Lord will make a difference between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt, so nothing shall die of all that belongs to the children of Israel. Then the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord will do this thing in the land, meaning he had already prepared a place in time to send a blessing that the blessing could outlive the burden. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. 
That that was for me. I, I don't know who that was for, but that was for me right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Psalms 102 and 13. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Let the glory fall on this message, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. <clears throat> Psalms 102. Psalms 102, 13. Mm-mm-mm, that's good, Lord. I'm enjoying this bit of a meat of a message. I'm going to go back and listen to it again for myself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. John, uh, Psalms 102, Psalms 102, talks about the set Times. Psalms 102 and 20. Psalms 102:20. Father, let this phone last until the video is done. In Jesus' name, thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Psalms 102:20. Here you go. Thank you, Holy Ghost. To hear the groaning of the prisoners to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord on Zion. Wait a minute. Psalms 102:13. Where did I start reading? I started reading at 20. 13. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. Meaning God's going to deliver you even from the hand of death. If your set day was to die today, God's going to even change the course of time for you. If you'll believe the word of the prophet today, believe what I'm saying from God is for you today, that you will live and not die today. God will even change even the course of the set date and time that you were supposed to die. And I'll even put that biblically in perspective in just a minute if you'll continue on the video with me. Don't give up on me now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. That was Psalms 102.13. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And verse 20. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Though it did not look like you was going to get your miracle because the timing was off, God's going to change it into a set moment like what happened at Canaan at the wedding. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. John 2 and 4, Jesus said to her when she said, we're out of wine, he looked at her and she said, do something about it when she looked at him. He looked at her and said, woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour has not yet come. The set time has not come. It didn't mean that God wouldn't do it. It was just saying, Jesus said, I, I ain't supposed to do it at this time, but I will. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Jesus obeyed his authority on earth. His mother had authority in the body over Jesus. And I mean, and he obeyed her. What I'm saying is it was about a spirit of obedience to show the world that God listens to his people. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God showed himself mighty through the Son because of the spirit of obedience and excellence that was in the Son. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. He obeyed Mary. He listened to her. He did what she was asking because he loved her and because he's God and he wanted to show himself mighty. Even though the hour had not yet come for him to be revealed, he said, I'm going to do it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. A set moment, like with what happened in the wedding at Cana in John 2 and 4. He said, or, um, yeah, John 2, 4. He said, the hour has not, my hour has not yet come. He even said that in John 7 and 6. He said, my hour has not yet come. When they was talking to him about the kingdom of heaven, he said, my brothers and sisters don't believe who I am because my hour has not yet come. For me to be revealed. They would believe, but the hour, the time that was set, would, had not yet come. John 7 6. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Do you know God stopped time and changed it? Isaiah 38 and 8. God changed the time of a death. I told you I'd get there. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Go to Isaiah. Lord, heal my throat so I can preach tomorrow, too. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> 
Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Isaiah 38 and 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Behold, I will bring the shadow of the... Hold on, verse 7. And this is a sign to you from the Lord that the Lord will do this thing which he has spoken. Behold, I bring the shadow of the sundial which has gone down with the sun and on the sundial of Ahaz 10 degrees backward. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So that the sun returned 10 degrees on the dial by which it had gone down. Now, this is actually interesting. I'm going to get into a very interesting discussion in just about two minutes here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Time if y'all want to. Thank you, Jesus. I might get a little ahead of myself. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Bless you, Jesus. But now look, it's, I'll turn it backward for you. God is even going to go back into the time that you missed your miracle and say, now is the set time. It was then, but you missed it, so now is the set time for your blessing. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Somebody is going to get to shouting on me now. Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> My Aunt Sarah Bell said she shouts amen when I say shout amen. I like that. There's somebody shouting for me. I really can't shout today. I'm trying not to, but... I can't help myself. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Let the glory fall. Thank you, Jesus. But now it said Isaiah 38, 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Go to verse, oh, uh, wait, it says, And I will, behold, I will bring the shadow of the sundial that has gone down with the sun on the sundial of Ahaz 10 degrees backward, so that the sun returned 10 degrees on the dial by which it had gone down. This is the writing of Hezekiah, king of Judea, hallelujah, Father God, when he had been sick and had covered, had recovered from his sickness. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says that it went backward. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because he said it would be easy to prove that if it went forward. And he said, but I say that the Lord should have to do it backwards. So God said, just to prove to you that I'm God, I'm going to do it backwards. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. He is the beginning and the end, but he knows the end from the beginning. Are you getting what I'm saying? In Isaiah, he said, I know the end from the beginning. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. So he said, I'm going to take back the time that was lost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And I'm going to redeem your life 15 years is what he told him. Bless you, Holy Ghost. And as a good favor, an act of good favor and truth, that God was really speaking to him. God told the prophet, he said, tell him whatever he asked. He, he said, tell him I'll set the sundial either backwards or forward to prove to him that I've set it and that it wouldn't come out of your mouth, that it was from me and not from you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And he said, well, bringing it forward would be too easy. He said, so bring it back. Meaning he was putting a limitation on the limitless God who actually overrides time and matter that he created. Help me, Holy Ghost, that's a word for somebody. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible said, Joshua 10, 13, that the Bible said that it that the sun stood still for about the period of a day. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When he prayed, he said, Lord, let the sun stand still. And he reached out his hand and the sun stood still. Hallelujah. That's in Joshua 10, 13, the Bible shows us that for about a half a day that the sun stood still. There is an, a day and 30 minutes missing from our time table in the time history. They did a search in NASA and discovered that a day and a half had been missing. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. And they thought it was a, complete, a computer glitch, and one scientist bravely stood up and said, no, the Bible says different, and even showed them in the Bible where God changed time twice, physically changed time. He had to make time stand still, and he had to reverse it. So the earth, you know, people say, well, it's flat. Well, it's round. Actually, the more I'm reading it, the more I'm starting to believe in a flat earth theory. But, you know, the anyways, the earth with a round thing, don't be emailing me all this crazy stuff. I'm just saying I'm finding it interesting to study. All right, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. But you know what? Either way, it don't really matter. It's irrelevant because of involving a flat earth, a non-flat earth, because the Bible said that Paul said, do not get into certain discussions that would cause fury among the church. I'm not getting into that with y'all. I love you in Jesus' name, but I mean, I'm starting to believe in 
a little, you know, that it may have been possible that it was flat. Because the Bible said he rolled out the earth as a scroll. That's a flat thing. You know, go figure. You know, work out your own salvation <laughs> with fear and trembling. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But I ain't getting into flat earth theory with y'all. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If it don't hold significant value to salvation, I'm not going to deal with it in the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. With Joshua 10, 13, the Bible said that the sun stood still, and I think it said for about a half a day. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When the appointed time, well, thank you, Holy Ghost. This is what my brother Matt gave me when we was talking. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When the appointed one meets the anointed one, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. We're appointed to live, but we're appointed to die. But when we meet the anointed and the appointment meets up with the anointed. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When the appointed meets the anointed, the kairos moment happens. Kairos is literally defined in the Greek as a moment of time, a specific set time of action. God is delivering you today into a set time of action. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You may have thought you missed your miracle, but your set time, your set date for your deliverance, your set date for your healing has come today. I'm here to tell you in Jesus' name. I'm not trying to shout. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. The anointed, when the appointed meets the anointed, thank you, Holy Ghost, the kairos happens. The kairos is a set appointed time in Greek. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. But it's also a time of action. But just like so many today, but just like always, so many today spend time with the right moment but don't know. They spend time with the right moment but knew not when it came. Luke 19.44, he said, you will be ran over. You'll be trampled. And he said, they'll not leave one stone unturned because you did not know the hour of your visitation. You were not ready for it. But if you feel like your whole world's been trampled, that ain't one stone been unturned. You ain't got nothing left to give. God is going to set back in order your right moment. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Don't mean to get the shout in there. Lord, heal me. Thank you, Jesus. Now is your moment, friend. Hold on, I'm going to get me some water. For those who saw this jug, it is water only. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And you know that mountain water, this is water, water from the from the river banks. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. <laughs> I can't help it. If y'all don't like to laugh, don't even tune in to me because you're going to laugh some point during the message. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Now is your moment, friends. We are all... We are all, do you know, even your day of your death has been appointed. Hebrews 9, 27, it's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless everybody listening, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Do you know God can change the date of your death? Isaiah 38 and 5, he said that when Isaiah got to the court, the outer courts of the kingdom, he said, turn back Isaiah and tell him I'll give him 15 more years to live because Isaiah had originally by God pronounced a death sentence. He said, you will live, you will die and not live. And he said, now go back and tell him you'll live and not die because I changed my mind. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God cannot be changed, but the timing can be changed in God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Bless everybody, Lord Jesus. Somebody needed to hear that today. The timing in God can be changed. God cannot change, but his timing can. Thank you, Holy Ghost, the Lord. So originally that day was supposed to be the day of King Zechariah, I think. His death was supposed to be that day. But the Bible said he came and turned his face to the wall and said, Oh, Lord, you know I've done all that you've asked me to do. I've got everything right with you. Now, Lord, set this thing in order for me. Because he said, Set your house in order for this day you will die and not live. But then God says, You will live and not die. For he had seen the tears of the king, and he knew that the king was right. And this is the same king that asked God to turn the dials back to prove himself. 
My Lord, have mercy. So many times God says something, we can't believe it without a sign. My Lord, if God said it, honey, you can bank on it. You can take it to the bank and cash that check, honey, because what God said for you is for you. Whoever that's for, receive it now in Jesus' name. I rebuke the spirit of death, and I command you to live and not die. Get up out of your sick bed. Get up out of your your chair you've been sick in, and be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, fire on whoever needs to be healed. Fire of God, burn out that infection. Fire of God, burn out that problem. In Jesus' name, by the word of Jesus Christ, I command healing through the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. Creative miracle, fire on it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless everybody, Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody needed to hear that today. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord. For you have been promised long life. Genesis 6, 3 through 12 says that their life would be 120 years. Genesis 6, 3 through 12, 120 years is how long we would live on the earth. But because of sin, Psalms 118:17, it says we will live and not die. And with long life, he will satisfy. But Psalms 9, 10, 90, Psalms 90 and 10 says that our years will be 70 to 80 years long because of the span of sin. 120 years got cut down to 70 to 80. That is your expected lifespan in God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 and 11, he said, For I know the thoughts I have for you, thoughts of good and not of evil, thoughts to give you an expected end, an expected end. You know what? Why can't I die at 30? Because it ain't my set date to die. I'm going to be an old man before I'm gone. That's what was prophesied to me by the Lord when he originally called me into ministry. I was going to be an old man before the day of my death arrived. I can't die at 30 because I'm a prophet of God and I believe the word from God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Live and not die. Whoever that's for, live and not die. Live and not die. Live and not die. Rebuke death off of you. The spirit of death is rebuked. And cast as far as you, the east is from the way it is rebuked. The spirit of sin and death is off of you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Rise up, repent, and go and sin no more. That was for somebody else because you will live and not die because you've heard the message and believe the word. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Bless everybody, Lord. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. If you're wondering right now, what does this have to do with you and God? I'm so glad you asked me that. I'm glad you asked because in Genesis 8:22 it said as long as time remains, there would be as long as life remained, there would be seed, time, and harvest. But check this out: Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There is a set time for everything under heaven. A set time, a kairos, a set time of action. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You're a part of that time, and I'm a part of that time. That season, God has gave, and in that, in that season, if you need God to change the time, all you got to do is believe God for it. And if he ain't done working in you and on you and through you and for you, then God will say, all right, I'll change the season for your behalf that I might get the glory out of your life. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I love you, Lord Jesus. You and I are a part of that time and that season if you're alive today. Hallelujah. Bless everybody, God. God has gave us the right and the authority to change time and seasons, just like he did with Jesus when they kept pulling him from his set time and receiving what he had for them before it ever happened. Exodus 16, also, I'll get into that in a minute. Matthew 15, 24 through 28, he said, I have come for the lost sheep of Israel. I've come for them. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. And he said, it's not right to give the, the children's bread, healing is the children's bread, to dogs, meaning you ain't even, do you not understand what season you're in? Hey, Jesus was saying, do you not understand what time, what season you're in? 
And she said, Lord, I know I'm a dog, but even the dog has a right to eat from the master's table. Meaning, I don't want everything. I just want what they ain't picking up. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I just want the crumbs is what she said. It's funny. I started this message 520 of 2016. I started this book of um, sermons that Sister Grace gave me, uh, a journal. And I started 520 of 2016. I ended at 530 of 2017. How awesome is God? That is just incredible. Ten days after I originally started with the first set of sermons. And God is giving me so much revelation within all these pages, and I'm excited about it. I think the uh, number of messages are, are 73 messages in this sermon, book, on this book of sermons, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you, Jesus. Because God has forever changed my mind on the time frame of eternity. God is changing my mind with the time frame of the timetable of, of eternity because in John 10 and 16, he said, I have other sheep not of this pasture, meaning he said, I'm, and he said, I must bring them in too. He said, I'm here for the lost sheep of Israel. That's what he said in Matthew 15. It wasn't that he wasn't going to bless her in the time frame. It was just, he said, do you know what season it is? He said, do you know what season you're in? Do you know that I'm about to bless you in the midst of a season that you were not even set to be in at that time? You're getting ready to get the miracle you needed, though it wasn't a set time for your miracle. Hallelujah. Bless everybody, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless everybody, Holy Ghost. Him, they pulled Jesus from his time frame. Hallelujah. Matthew 15, 24 through 28, he said, I'm here for the lost sheep. John 10, get this now, John 10, 16. Go there now. He said in Matthew 15, 24 through 28, I've come for the lost sheep. But John 10, 16, thank you, Holy Ghost, I love you, Jesus. John 10, 16, he said, there are other sheep I have Thank you, Holy Ghost, for your glory, Father. And other sheep I have which are not. Oh, wait a minute, verse 15. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, that they will hear my voice, and they will be one flock and one shepherd. Meaning I'm not just come to save Israel, I've come to save everybody. I've come for the entire world. Jesus said, I've come to redeem everybody, but I've come to you first because you were my chosen people. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Bless everybody, Lord. God wanted to bless you and, and, and bless you indeed, but he wanted to bless you in the right timing. If you missed your time, though, God has got a timed miracle for you. Exodus 16, 4 through 6, or 7, uh, yeah, 4 through 6, said that God would set a time during the day, verse 6, it said that he had set a time during the week that the manna would fall from heaven, that they would gather it up and gather double the, for their house. And whatever was left out spoiled, whatever they tried to hide from God and keep that God didn't give them. Some people have got ministries that God gave them that they ain't using it with, and if you don't use it, you'll lose it, baby, because the gift of God goes without repentance, but if an anointing is not used, the oil will spoil. Help me, Holy Ghost. Somebody needed to hear that. Bless everybody. Listening, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless everybody, Lord. Exodus 16, 4 through 6. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Second Corinthians 6, 2, it says, Now is the appointed time for salvation. Now is the kairos moment, the appointed time to be saved. God is drawing you out of your hiding hole. You've been hiding from the presence of God, or trying to hide, trying to hide from the presence of God. God sees you and he's calling you out in love. 
He ain't calling you to beat you over the head and say, you know you ain't worth nothing. That's the devil. Whoever says, well, you ain't worth, if they hear a voice saying, you ain't worth nothing, you know that's a lie from the pit of hell because God says that he finds value in you. Even today, there is value in you. There is life. There is love. There is peace. Somebody shout amen that I'm worth something to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. God did not leave a mansion to come to a manger to die for a nobody. He came to leave a mansion to he left a mansion to live in a manger for you know to be born in a manger to die for a somebody because the Bible said whosoever you're not a nobody you're a whosoever there is no such thing as a nobody in the Bible you're a whosoever David was a whosoever Every bad guy in the Bible that God used is a whosoever. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Whosoever. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. When the appointed one meets the anointed one, you have an appointment with your deliverance today. Your hour has come for your deliverance, and I bind every devil binding you. I cast it off. In Jesus' name, we command to go back to the pit and never rise again. In Jesus' name, now you're saved and you, or you're backslid. If you're backslid in Jesus' name, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I ask you to wash me in the blood. Fill me with your spirit that I might make heaven my home. Wash me and cleanse me. In Jesus' name, I believe you died on the cross, that God raised you from the dead. In Jesus' name, I'm saved. Amen. Now, if you're bound up, like I said, I break every bondage, because he who the Son is free is free indeed. Father, unlock the key of David in their life right now, Father. Open up the windows of heaven. Bring a K. Ross moment into their life right now. Maybe the time clock of eternity for some people is about ready to stop. But, Father, I thank you that you're going to move your hands backward on their lifespan. And their time that was set for them to die is being reversed back. And they will live and not die. That you will restore to them the years of the canker worm and the pommel worm and the locusts are taken from them. In Jesus' name, I rebuke the spirit of death and I command the spirit of life to come now into your life. In Jesus' name, unlocked by the key of David, the windows and the doors of heaven, Father God. In Jesus' name, I speak life and life more abundantly. In Jesus' name, because Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I love you, Jesus. <clears throat> God is doing what he did for Lazarus. It was at that, that kind moment that he had died. But Jesus said, I'm going to go in and reverse the clock. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Your miracle that looked like you had missed it is getting ready to be reversed. And you're getting ready to walk in the miracle ministry that God's called you to. Somebody needed to hear that. I speak life over everybody listening in Jesus' name. Now, Father God, if they are sick in their body, I command sickness. Turn you loose and let you go free. I bind every spirit of sickness. And I cast it down to the pit. I bind it up in the name of Jesus. Command it never rise again in Jesus' name by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. I love you, Father God, in Jesus' name. I rebuke every attack of the enemy off of your life. In Jesus' name. Devil, you've illegally accessed yourself into their home, into their dwelling place. But no evil shall come out of their dwelling place. So I break and bind every spirit of evil that's tried to come against them. Every attack. And the attack cannot come back according to Nahum 1-9. Now, devil, I command you to go back to the pit of hell and never rise again against them in Jesus' name. I command you, devil, be bound to the pit to your day of judgment. In Jesus' name, I command the joy of their salvation to return. The joy of the Lord to be their strength. The peace of God, their double portion. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, Father, I ask right now that if anybody be bound by addiction, Jesus, you are the deliverer. Deliver them in Jesus' name now, in Jesus' name. Let the glory fall. Let there be no more trouble in their body, no more bondages in Jesus' name. Now, Jesus, you are the baptizer in the Holy Ghost and fire. Father God, I do love you, and I thank you for this message right now that you had me give to the people. I love you, Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Do it, Father God. In Jesus' name, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. This is your set time. And your time for your deliverance is now. You've been delivered. You've been healed. You've been saved. You've been set free. 
you've been filled with the Holy Ghost today, write me and let me know what God's done for you. And thank you always again for tuning in to HR Revival, where it's always the hour before revival. I'll see you tomorrow, then I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. I love y'all. And I'm going to play us out real quick like the Lord told me to start doing. And like I said, I didn't even mean to shout. People say, oh, well, you shouted a little bit. Well, I can't help myself. You try and mess with fire and see if you don't shout. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Holy Ghost. Let the glory fall, Lord Jesus. K. Ross is here today. Time is being healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm going to play and sing a little bit. Healing. Bless everybody, Jesus.